here and today we are talking batteries. Uh, as you might know, I'm a big fan of the Canon EOS uh, camera system here. And the, these cameras, and especially this one, my favorite body, the EOS 10S, takes a specific kind of battery. And that is this right here. It is called the 2CR5. It is a 6 volt battery. And as you can see, if you look up close, uh, it's made up of two cells. Uh, these two right here. Uh, these two cells are actually one, two, three cells. Uh, if you buy a one, two, three cell, it kind of looks like this. And as you can see, it's almost exactly the same as the two cells that are in here. Uh, the one, two, three is a three volt battery. Uh, you put two of them together in series, you get a six volt battery. Uh, today, uh, since these batteries are kind of pricey, I wanted to make my own battery, which uh, uh, takes these one, two, three cells and replaces them with this smaller battery. As you can see here, uh, this battery is called a CR2. Uh, enough of this code here. Um, the big difference between this battery and these batteries right here are this one is rechargeable and these lithium batteries are not rechargeable. So in an effort to, to save the world I am trying to use rechargeable batteries in my camera. Uh, they do make rechargeable 123 batteries uh, however I do not have any of them uh, so I'm going to modify this battery here to take the CR2 batteries and power my camera. Well, the, uh, the, the, the two batteries, the two cells that are here, the one, two, three cells, uh, they're connected in series, uh, which means uh, that this is a positive side of the battery, this is the negative side of the battery, it's connected over here to the positive side of this, this battery, and comes out here in this this electrode which is the negative side of the battery. So there's a band of metal that connects these two things right here and a band of metal that comes up and forms these two contacts or electrodes as we like to call them. Uh, I've taken one apart and as you can see uh, this is the uh, one two three cell as you remember it's one of these except they have this metal band attached to it. And this is the metal band that attaches, attaches these things in series. Uh, what we want to do today is to disassemble this battery and uh, substitute the rechargeable cells for the ones that are not rechargeable. Uh, the hardest part of this whole instructable here is getting these batteries out uh, without destroying the plastic frame that it's on. Uh, it's not not that too bad if you can feel you can feel a little bit of give in these batteries, and what we're going to do is just going to work them out as best we can with our hands. But going to going to turn to a pair of vice grips here and uh, take the battery. Uh, don't don't try to do it too much because it can actually rupture the battery. But want to get a good grip on it and just start uh, yanking it back and forth uh, till you can get the get the uh, metal contacts a little metal fatigue there we go uh, as you can see here the uh, uh, each of the the posts have the, the metal attached to it uh, pretty religiously, but uh, again, if you yank it back and forth enough, you'll, you'll create enough metal fatigue to uh, get these out. Once one's out, the other one comes out pretty readily since it's only attached on one point now. Okay. Uh, now we have the frame of the battery. Uh, this is important. 
Uh, as you can see right here, the uh, these two electrodes here are still attached. Uh, what you want to do is remove them. They, they really are, are, are no use to us and we'll reform them with some uh, aluminum foil a little bit later. Uh, once, once we have everything uh, squared away with this battery, it'll look something like this. As you can see, we have the two of the smaller batteries, the CR2s, uh, in here. Uh, we have some spacers, which are made up of some closed cell foam that I took out of a, um, an old mouse pad. And uh, if you take off one of these, you can see that we have reformed the uh, electrodes, so they do connect in series, and they do come out And they do come out here to electrodes that can interface with your camera. Uh, these are charged up. Again, these are rechargeable. The whole reason we're doing this. So let's see how they work in the camera. Okay, let's uh, put our battery, our newly formed ba rechargeable battery, in the camera here. Canon EOS 10S. And we'll put our battery in. Close the, uh, the door there. And as we can see, as we can see, we have a fully charged battery icon on the control panel. And the uh, proof of the pudding, of course, is in the, uh, the taking. We'll put as much load on the camera as we can. We'll put up the flash. We will uh, half press, which uh, focuses, and... Alright, so now I have a picture of the video camera. So, uh, the camera does work, uh, but as you can see, the difference between the two cell sizes, uh, we can probably expect a at least 30% decrement in the amount of uh, uh, electrons that we're supplying the camera. So. Uh, you might look to uh, replacing the battery uh, a little bit sooner than you would for a normal battery. However, again, since these are rechargeable, you can be, can be used uh, many, many times. Whereas the, the old batteries can only be used once. So, uh, hopefully this will help you out. And thanks again. Cheers.